It is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. It is a far, far better rest that I go to than I have ever known. This book, A Tale of Two Cities, was written by Charles Dickens in 1859, situated in London and Paris. It basically characterizes the French Revolution and explains not only the suffering of the communists, but also the noblemen. It's about suffering, it's about tragedy, and it's about love. So when we look at this book in a deeper context, we see that it's about the time in, in, during the French Revolution when noblemen were being gathered and executed. So basically, it's about this young woman, an 18-year-old, Lucy Manet, who goes to Paris to find her father. There she falls in love with this nobleman, Charles Darnay, who travels with her from England to Paris and then gets uh, imprisoned because, he, because of his um, ancestry. He belongs to a noble family which has been accused of oppressing the general public and stealing from them and even murdering some. So, uh, in an attempt to save her husband, Lucy basically hires a lawyer called Sidney Carton who falls in love with her and then replaces her husband when he sees that there's no way out. He replaces her husband in the prison and gets executed in his place. So when we look at it, it's not just about how the... When we look at the French Revolution, it, this book really changes your perspective because it basically shows us how the people during the French Revolution suffered, not just the commoners who had nothing to eat and were revolting against the tyranny of their oppressors, the, their rulers, but also the noblemen, the innocent people, their families, the servants who suffered at the hands of this general public who was revolting and they thought that they were just ridding themselves of their tyrants, but in actual they made a whole lot of people suffer, including innocent families, children, servants, and many more. To sum this time up, uh, the time of the French Revolution, Charles Dickens basically quotes, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of innocence, it was the age of ignorance. So basically we see that A Tale of Two Cities is very, has a very deeper context than you might read or, or that you might understand in your first read. And you might need to go into the depth of this book to actually understand what happened. But in general, it's a must read. And with this, we end this podcast. Thank you.